Leo Fender and George Fullerton founded GNL in 1980, and that was uh, really Leo Fender's final brand. GNL was born out of CLF Research, which is Clarence Leo Fender Research. And the dawn of CLF Research was uh, just after he'd sold the Fender company. And most of that work was for Fender until that five-year period after he'd sold the Fender company. That was a period he was a consultant and he'd set up his little place, CLF Research, right nearby. So that transferred to CLF Research. And it was during that time, uh, 1975, his non-compete agreement expired. And the non-compete was, was really about guitars and basses, so that's when he began to design and manufacture the Music Man guitars and basses, the Stingray guitar and bass in 1976. So 1976 to 1980, CLF Research made Music Man. But then it was at that point that, that Leo decided, okay, well, let's just start a new brand. And George Fullerton was already there. He'd been there for about five years. He was the one that did primarily the drawings and so forth. So 1975 to 1980 was the Music Man era in our factory. And then 1980 beyond. Uh, and next year will be 40 years of GNL. It was just a wonderful thing. It's on Fender Avenue in Fullerton. Uh, his laboratory and office are intact, so it's like this, this center of his creativity, it still exists and it's very much vibrant and, and more so these days. But it took some years to kind of get out behind sort of the shadow of Leo Fender and be able to celebrate him while at the same time using a lot of the tools and technologies that he left us to create new things. We would bought Leo Fender's company and we were afraid to change too much. But in the past couple years, what we're trying to do is look at a lot of the, the uh, styling and design work that George did that maybe they gave up on too soon. Now we're really getting back to the, the sort of excitement styling-wise as well as functionally-wise that is, as I keep saying, why did Leo put up these walls? Because he wanted to push the game forward. So our place, while it functioning is today, it's the GNL factory. It's also the repository of his life's work. And really, it's the spiritual center of Leo Fender. I mean, if you can't beat that, it's Fender Avenue in the city of Fullerton that he put on the map. You know, that's pretty freaking cool. That, to me, commands a lot of respect for an individual like that. A lot of reverence, and uh, it's, a, it's a hell of a shadow to be behind. But. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, in recent uh, years, we've become much more comfortable in celebrating that. He would demand that we try to do better, make better uh, instruments, and make more people happy, because making more musicians happy was the name of the game for him. We're free to be, express this brand as, as, as purely as we wish, and we, and we want it to be a, with great reverence for Leo Fender, but not stuck in the past because we know that would, that would anger him. <laughs>